Welcome to our homeschooling channel. Homeschool with Liam. Homeschool with Liam. I am Milandi Marika and Liam's mom and this is Leia. Liam. So Marika is busy doing her study work today. So it's just me and Liam that's gonna do some fun things today. What are we gonna do today? Craft. We're gonna do some art and crafts today. So we've done this before, but it didn't come out that nicely and we figured out what the problem was. So we're gonna redo it today. Okay. So before we start, when you do arts and crafts, can I tell them? One second. Okay. When you do arts and crafts, make sure that you wear old clothing or clothing that is not your favorite clothing that you wear outside. And make sure you work on a surface like a table or floor that is easy to clean. And by the easy to clean, I mean to put like a plastic sheet over or some newspaper so you don't mess on the carpet. If you have tile floors, it's easy to just wipe it off. Otherwise, it's always nice to do the art and crafts outside as well. But the weather is funny for the last couple of days, so we decided we're going to do it inside the house today. Okay? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, Liam, what do we need for this art and craft? We need flour, yes. water, yes. table salt, yes. they were thing salt. Yes. Okay, so you need flour and water that we're going to mix into a thick paste. And then we need some salt. I've got pink salt because our normal table salt ran out. And this is pink salt that's not really nice pink salt. It's like quite sandy. I don't know why. Um, so we don't eat it. So it's just lying there. So we're going to use it for our arts and crafts today. And you need scissors. And, and a little bag. And a little plastic bag. You need the scissors to cut yes. off. This thing is full of air. It was full of air, but I cut the one side open because we're going to put the flour and water mixture in here and, and then, then you have to cut a teeny tiny little hole there otherwise it's going to be too much it's going to come out of the bag at one time so you're going to make like a piping bag out of plastic okay that's all we need oh well that's all we need but what do we need to make the pictures we need this okay so you need this which is Hey. Like a thin cardboard. But look, we okay. need pictures. Yes. We need pictures. Okay, so you need like a thin cardboard with normal paper. It tears because it is moisture that you're putting on it. So it becomes all soft and soggy. So it tears so the art doesn't come out nice. So if you use like a thin cardboard, which is a little bit more, how can I say, it doesn't get damaged easily. It doesn't like absorb the water and go all mushy. And you've got like nice thin cardboard paper. Yeah, that's how what do you want to tell them? I have a tank and my mom has a butterfly. Yes, so I've drawn pictures on you. So that's a butterfly Mine that I've drawn on there. And then Liam's one. I don't know if you guys can really see because it's such a thin board. Then Liam's got a tank. So I don't know whether you can see it because it's drawn. Oh, light. Sorry, it's drawn quite There's light. There's other white. Yes. Should we draw on the back? No, because if you put on the white, then it shows nicely what we're going to finish. Oh. Okay, so this one is sticky. So we're going to do this first. And then we're going to let it dry. We'll tell you like we'll tell you exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna let it dry and when it's dry, then we're going to use water paint and you're gonna paint it. Okay. And by doing that with having the salt on top, it actually makes really, really nice colorful patterns and things. Um, but we're first going to do the whole mixing of the water and the flour. We're gonna do the piping on the piece of paper with our picture. Yes. Then when it's still wet, you put your salt on top and you let it dry otherwise if you put the water paint on top of it also it becomes all yucky because it's too much water and mushy and mushy because it's too much water isn't it yes yes we need to do like this side yeah and a little bit well i've got like half a cup there more than half a cup i've got a little bit of flour yes we should get two boxes of flour two boxes of flour so we we'll use a little bit more to all the way go to the Okay. So, the, so the amount of flour you need isn't really that much. You need about two tablespoons. It depends on the size of your picture. If you've got a big picture, you'll probably you need more than two tablespoons of flour. Because you only need a little bit, because you're only going to use a little bit on a picture. Okay. So I've got about, I think I've got about three tablespoons of flour in here. Because we're doing two pictures. And then I'm just going to add no, a little bit. small box makes all makes it fuller. Two. Are you thinking about the corn flour that Daddy bought? That is in a small box. 
But this is flour, this is not corn flour. Mm -hmm. So this is normal flour. Okay. You can use like normal flour or ma like here in India they call it maida. Um, or cake flour, all purpose flour, any any white flour that you can see, just normal white oh, flour. Oh, all in this. That's fine. Just normal white flour that you can use. I will mix this. Okay, but now I have to give you a little bit of water. Just, just put our pictures aside, otherwise the picture is going to get full of flour and then it's not going to stick on it. Okay, so then I'm just putting in a teaspoon. Like two. Like, oh, I'll just put two tablespoons. So we're going to mix it, make it a little paste. Okay, as you're mixing it, you can add a little bit more pay, like water in it. You don't want it too runny because then it just becomes one big flower blob on your picture, so you won't have a picture. Um, so you, and you don't want it too thick because you need to be able to pipe it onto your picture. You getting right there? Mm hmm. You need a little more water. It's all mushy. It's all mushy? <laughs> yeah. I think we need more water. Look how mushy went! Yeah, that's so what happens mushy. with cheese flour and water. Also, if you if you want to make like a play dough, like a clay that you can put outside to dry or like an oven to dry, um, you also just mix normal cake flour and water and you mix it into like a firm ball. That's what we've done for some Easter crafts this year. More water? Yeah, it's too so sticky wicky. Okay. One second. Let mommy mix a little bit and see how it is. The main water's less. Okay, and this is like one of those crafts where you can actually get a little bit messy in there, but oh, that's really no. cool. I fun. I think some of them pull down. It's fun, it's just water, you can clean it up. Ah. So the mommy just see. Okay, mommy just finished mixing it quickly. Oh. Can I do the rest? Okay, the mommy just finished the mixing. Because the water needs to go in nicely. Come on, I'll get it. Alright, so That's fast! How long can you do it so fast? Yeah, you have to mix it fast, otherwise get it dry. doesn't mix nicely. Can I try? Alright. I don't fuss us. And you can use any bowl or cup or whatever you want to mix it in because you're just going to mix it in here and then you're going to take it and you are going to do it now. put it into the cotton bag. Oh, no, the so you can mix the last little bit. So I'm getting the cotton bag ready. Look at, look at this. So that's perfect. It's like falling down. It's falling down? Okay, well that's what happens, it becomes a nice thickish paste. Oh, I it's okay, just don't wipe it on your clothing, that's why you have to wear old clothing. Oh, don't wipe it on the tables and the cups and things, okay. Does it got teeny hole? No, first I'm going to put this into the bag. So Liam is going to hold the bag for mommy. Yes, you need somebody to hold the bag. Okay, so what you're going to do is put your fingers inside here and then hold it open like that. But you need to hold it towards me so I can see what I'm doing. Because I need to see what I'm doing. I'm <laughs> okay. Just move your thumbs, otherwise your thumbs are gonna get full. Look how mushy is gone in. Yeah. Got so mushy. It is mushy. How long is it going in there? Maybe you should cut the pin over there. I'll I'll cut the point off. And at the point you have to, the tip you have to cut a teeny tiny little bit. Like I said, otherwise, it's... Ah, it's, sticky. It's, ah, he's escaping. Otherwise, the hole is too big and then everything is going to run everywhere on your picture. And then you won't have a nice picture to show. Okay, so I've put everything in there. And now you've got the piece of piping bag. Then you got to cut. One second, my boy, before you cut this, mommy cut. I got teeny weeny one. I'm going to do the teeny weeny. Get that away, get that away. One second, one second. Okay. Once again, also, you're working with scissors. So let mommy or daddy help you with the scissors. Wait, before you cut it. Mommy cut it. Like I said, it's sharp. So you cut it. You cut it. Tiny little hole. It's very, very small. Okay. And I'm gonna start piping it. Okay. Now it's gonna come out. So you're gonna go like that. Ah, it's going on my picture. 
What? Oh, I also I now I have a tank for my rocket launcher. Oh, good. Yes. Okay, okay we're going to land. Oh, I'm going to take this. This thing is so long. I like this going to be with a rock, rocket launcher that we have. Oh, look at that. So you guys saw how I was piping the picture on it as well as throwing like loads of salt on it because you want to put a lot of salt on there. So make sure that you've got another sheet of plain paper or whatever underneath so that you can just throw off all the excess salt onto that because you can use it for your next picture. And just throw it off carefully because you don't want the salt to go everywhere. Fine, we'll dust it out just now. I uh, I'm not getting that so I'm just banging it a little bit. Put this way around so you guys can see. The pictures up and down. Banging it a little bit. Well, some places the salt got a bit stuck. So we just bang it so it goes out of the little holes. There we go. There we go, my eye. This is Liam's beautiful tank. tank and it looks pink, but it's because we use pink salt. So what we're going to do is we're going to let this dry nicely before we're going to paint it. Otherwise, it all, because the flour mixture is wet on here, it is going to go mushy if you're going to start painting with it as well. So you use normal watercolor paint or if you've got like whichever like acrylic paint or something. What about dry paint? You, you, do the, you mm -hmm. take some paint, dip it, mm -hmm. get all paint again mm -hmm. and then paint. Okay, yeah, you can't use paint that is thick. You need a water-based paint. You usually use your watercolor paint. Or like we've got the acrylic paint, but you mix it with water so it's quite liquidy, like water. And then we're going to dab it. But as soon as it's dry, then we're going to paint it. Because okay, so we're not going to play with the salt now. With this salt, we're going to use for the next picture. Okay. Yes. So this is Liam's picture. You happy with your tank? Yes. Okay. It's really. And I, you have like a teeny eye that is missing. Yeah, I forgot to make the pupil of the eye, so he just drew the pupil of the eye. In. Okay. Right, so now I'm going to do the butterfly. Okay, butterfly's over there. Let's go fetch it. So, we are done. Yeah, we're done. So this is the butterfly. And this is my tank. And that's his tank. Okay, so like I said earlier, we're going to let this dry nicely before we paint it. So we'll see what the weather does. We might finish it today, or we might finish it tomorrow. It just all depends on the weather. Isn't that right, Liam? Mm -hmm. Because if it's overcast and miserable and rainy, it will take longer to dry. But if it is nice and sunny and warm, it will dry quickly. So we'll just have to wait and see what the weather does. Because like I said earlier, the weather at the moment is kind of miserable outside. It's not raining. It's like crazy. It is crazy. It's not raining. It is just overcast and quite breezy. And it's slightly chilly. So we'll just see how quickly it's going to dry. Hopefully it will dry within the next hour or two. Otherwise, we'll continue this tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. So that's it for now. And we'll be back with painting of these nice arts. Okay, cool. See you guys soon. Bye, guys. So, our art is dry after about three hours. Yes. Yeah. And um, luckily, it didn't take too long. Um, the sun it came takes out so a fast. bit. It's Yeah, it's kind, kind of fast. The sun came out a bit, so it helped dry our art a little bit faster. So, now we are going to paint it. And, um, Can I tell something? What do you want to tell? I got small one for small detail. Yeah. And I got the big one for big ones. Okay. Detail. So how are you going to paint this, Liam? I got three colors. Green, black, red. Okay. So, I don't think you need them. Yes. For well, the tank. I should draw on the lines. So I've got quite a couple more colors. Colors I'm going to mix next to some of the colors. Ah! <laughs> what happened? It's gonna fall out. Oh, it's gonna fall. No, it's not oh, gonna fall. It's gonna no. dry in there. It got in your blue. No, I made it like that because I want to mix colors. Oh, shut up. 
maybe like I can pick up those colors in there. Um, this is like your Wait. acrylic up painting. If you put red with white, it makes pink. Yes. And if you mix red and blue, what color do you get? Purple. There we go. Here we go. And, and if you mix blue and yellow, it makes green. That's right. You are if, I, if I want to mix them, I don't have it. Well, because you said you wanted to use green and red and black for your tank. Yeah, because So those are the colors I've taken out. And look at this. See? My mom just put it on the line. She's actually not making those things. Yes. This is all crop. Again. Yes. Now, my long launcher was like going out of the paper. Yes, it was because we, we made the paper a little bit too runny and we did it on normal paper, so it was a total mess, so we had to throw it away. Oh, that was sad. Because he really liked his um, tank that we made there. You need um, a rocket launcher? I'm sorry, rocket launcher. So I've got quite a bit more colours in the end because it's a butterfly and butterflies in general have got more colours. I'm not sure that looks fine. Okay. So, like I said, these are like acrylic paints, but you need a water color. I got water, water color paint. black. There's a little bit of water in there. Um, mm. So, what you're going to do is if you've got like your acrylic paints, you have to mix water in them to make them a little bit runny. And um, I'm going to show you how we're going to paint this, okay? First, let's draw the little details. One second before you draw little details. Oh. So, I'm going to show you, but just want to tell you as well. When you paint, you're going to paint on the line of the salt, but you're literally just going to drop the paint onto the salt section. So you're going to see it's going to like nicely run in it. Okay. Yes. So we're going to show you guys how we're going to do it. Okay. Look. Okay. So this one for a black. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your color, whichever color you want to start with. I want to start with this color. Look. This black. I'll show you. So what you're gonna do? Okay, yeah. So oh. you just dab and see your black is not that thin, so you have to put more water in your black because it needs to just run into oh, the salt. It's running. Okay. So if you do painting, you usually start with a lighter color, and then you can do darker colors. But isn't your wheel supposed to be black? Ah, uh, no, it's supposed to be green. Your wheels are green and the body is black. No, I'm making the line supposed to be black. Okay. So the green is also on the wheels. Okay, so you can color your pictures whichever color you like. You can see just dab it on, then you can see just lightly how it runs. I'm just going to put a little bit closer so you can see. So this is quite watery paint, so I've mixed quite a bit of water in there. So you just dab it on there. And then it tends to run a little bit. Uh oh, it got to Oh, I made dark green! Is it? Let me show my dark. Oh my, look at my black. It's got in you, my red. Is it? Oh no. Oh no, what are you going to do now? I think I have to get some red. I think I can use one of your red. One second, I'll give you a little bit of the red now. Although my red looks kind of pink, I don't know why. No, that one. I'm using that one. The one next to your purple. What? I think I need this one. Oh, there's a towel. Yeah, well, the towel's not exactly too big to be cleaning your brushes. It's just meant to take the floor off the table, but it's fine. Okay. Let's run it lucky down. Must we put a bit of more water in there for you to make it more run? Mm. You can just close this one. Well, why do you do it? Put the water in there. Okay, now you mix it. Okay, mixing. Okay, this is just an old towel that you've got lying on, on the table. Um, uh, we heal them for bathing when we dry ourselves. Yeah, it's a bath towel. Well, in India, these are bath towels. They're just like thin cotton cloths. Um, but we're not using these anymore because they... <gasps> it's spreading! It's spreading now. There we go. They're kind of like oldish. They're not like torn or anything but we just got new ones we replaced them and now we're using them for our art and craft like a mess or anything like that okay can you just see that so i am just it's oh, crossing i just dropped yellow where i don't want yellow just some yellow yeah i dropped yellow where i didn't want yellow but it's fine 
it out and it can just look whichever way you want it. Hey! What happened? That's nice. That's nice. Thank yeah. you. I should mention this has got a lot of paint. And when you do this, after you put the salt on top of the oh, um, no. flour mixture, Wait! Mix, huh? Wait! Just what kind of they just don't want to put a dove on the flowers. Just it's one side. Watch. One side. They are. Wait, it's spreading on my truck. It's helping. What? It's helping me. Um, so, when you're waiting for it to dry, before you let it dry, just lightly dab the salt into the flowers. So, or like the flower space that you've got on your... Love is going, going, going. There we go. Um, it just helps the, the salt to stick on to the flower a little bit easier so that you, um, when you paint it doesn't come off. Did you see that bulb? Hmm? Kabloop? What's the bloop now? <laughs> One of my black of bloop? Isn't it? So here's my black here, honey. Oh, you yeah, have black. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, so when you've got two different colors, you've got the yellow, yellow. Uh, the line is actually the legs. You can see how the two colors. Uh, they notice, they know they notice. Did you know? Did you know the ones are actually the legs? Is it? Yes. No, they're not the legs. Oh. Why do you pink? Because I like pink. Why are you doing green and blue and all of those oh, no. favorites? It's fine. It just got out. Liam is still busy painting his. He's painting on the inside of his art as well. Usually you would only paint on the lines on the outside so it ends up looking like this. So I've made an M with the heart there because I've made this for my right side because she's still busy with studies. So I've just made something for her and then Liam has made his. Mommy must make you an L for your name or you do it yourself. There we go, there's an L for Liam. And um, so yeah, so this is something that's really fun and easy to do. You just need a bit of flour and a bit of water. You just need, yeah, like you need flour and water that you mix into a thick base. And then you need like a piping bag that you can go on the lines with the picture that you've drawn. Or even if it's a picture from a coloring book, you're making a heart as well. Wow. And even on, thanks. I know you love them. Even um, on, in colouring books, you can use one of the colouring pages as well and just do it on that. Just be careful when you do that because the paper and the colouring books are really thin. So the, the page may end up tearing out of it. So the best is using a thin cardboard um, piece of, of, like this is like supposedly like a cardboard paper or even if it's a box, then um, you would make it on that because it doesn't get all mushy and, and um, squishy and yucky so it won't tear off the paper um, and then just some normal salt you can use white salt you can use pink salt whatever you've got in the house just ask mom and daddy to help you with mixing up things and with which salt you can use and how much make sure you've got old clothing on especially with the painting part because the painting usually gets a little bit messy so you end up painting everywhere and just some watercolour paint, whichever colours you want to paint your picture. Isn't that right, Liam? Mm hmm. Okay, yeah, so Liam... I'm like painting a, a little square. Are you painting a square? So Liam is making a frame of these pictures, so we're waiting for him to finish, and then we can show you guys as well. Um, yeah. This is just really simple, really easy. You just have to let it dry a little bit, and then you can paint as soon as it's dry. And... What are you doing like this? Like, like thin, crafty work around corners and edges because you usually just have one of them. What are you doing? Make a little line there. Make some little lines. 
like outside line because I'm like he's moving. So I didn't teach him any of this. He's actually making like little lines around it so that it looks like this tank is moving, which is quite awesome. You done? Okay, let me show the friends what Liam's art looks like. So there's Liam's tank. Like I said, he's a painter on the inside as well. I just he was painting the inside, so I just finished drawing like the black or like putting the black paint on the on the fine lines there. So he's done his art. Are you happy with it? I'm also happy. This is really pretty. So now we're gonna ask you guys which no. one do you like more? I think they like the tank. You think they like the tank? Which one of these two do you like more? Do you like Liam's one? I really do. Or do you like mine that I made for Marika? Leave us a comment below. I do not love mine. Hey? I think they like tanks. Say again? I think they like tanks. You think they like tanks? So whichever one you like, let us know in the comment below which is your favorite one. As well as whether you're going to try this at home. This is so much fun to do, like I said. And it's easy, it's simple. Keeps you busy for a while. And you just let that creativity go. And just use your imagination of what you want. And you end up having a beautiful piece of art. Isn't that right, Liam? So we're done. So we're done. Finally, Liam is done. And um, hold up your picture. This is actually mine. Yes, that is Liam. Do you like mine? Or Roy? Or like this one? Yes, mommy made this for, like, for my writer. And this is Liam's one that he made himself. So which one you like? Let us know in the comments below. Which is your favorite one? Do you vote for Liam? Or do you vote for mommy? I think it looks me. You vote for you? Hmm, this is a tough decision. Will I vote for myself or will I vote for Liam? I think the self. By yourself. I know I can't vote for myself because I really like your tank. But I also really like the butterfly. So I'm gonna give one vote for butterfly and I'm gonna give one vote for the tank. Who I think it's for? me. I think it's you. Who do you guys vote for? Let us know in the comments below. And that's it for today. We had loads of fun making this wonderful easy craft. By tanks. Have tanks. And you can even make cars out of it. Say again? Can you make cars out of it? You can. We will see you guys soon again for some more awesome videos, eh? Bye guys! Bye!